In studio right now, uh, County Executive Anthony Pacenti. Uh, Dave Leffingwell is the mayor of Boonville, and I want to bring him in. And good morning, Mayor. I know you uh, you really expressed your displeasure with talk of consolidation, and we've tried to bring everybody together here, and we have the county executive. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mayor. And uh, I had your mic off. I'm oh, sorry. I'm but sorry. the uh, county executive said good morning. So uh, yeah. uh, tell us uh, and tell the county executive where what your concerns are. Well, my main point on the whole letter deal was there was no representation of any villages on that committee when you're talking about consolidation or re- redistribution of the sales tax. That was the whole point. Somehow that that got pushed to the side, and we got into this other deal because I guess it sounds better. I don't know. Okay, uh, do you want to... Uh... Well, look, yeah, I, yeah, I think you know, when we look at sales tax, and as I said earlier, I mean, the even the towns uh, technically wouldn't have to be at the table in terms of this. This is really a matter between the city and the county. However, I recognize that, and I recognize the villages, but the villages and the towns are still intertwined. The money that uh, goes to the villages comes through the same pot of the towns and based on the same assessments, and people are getting... I mean, they're, it, it's it's twice you're getting. I mean, they're getting paid twice because the the town gets paid for those same residents, and the and the and the village gets paid for it. And I feel that having just too many layers at the at the table is not going to get the discussion moving. What kind Nothing, of nothing? You know, this is yep. this is about about discussing things, and so yep. uh, it it makes it very difficult to have every layer at that at that table when. It's not necessary. Hey, Dave, what kind of, uh, I mean, have you guys talked about, um, I mean, if you took the salaries and uh, and you were able to cut salaries in half by having just one representative for the town and the village, do you know what, what kind of money that would save? Well, it, the salaries, is it, that doesn't amount to anything because you're talking, as um, far as board members or anything like that, you're, you're not talking um, any big amount of money. You're, where you comes in is services. It's just like uh, we used to have service up here from the county for um, for uh, Court near Village for for heat. Uh, somebody would come up and help the uh, the people do their applications and like that. And they don't do that anymore, so we had to pick that up. Or otherwise, the, the residents up there wouldn't get anything. And they they don't have cars; they can't drive any any place. And we've got a nice Court near Village, and uh, we picked up the slack there, and we pick it up. Other places, you know, to talk about passing the buck, like the state, if they if they can get somebody to to plow the roads cheaper than they can, they pay the town to plow the roads. So it 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 isn't a matter of um, cutting services. It's it's where you can get it done cheapest. Okay. Well, first of all, we pay the towns to plow the roads. If that's what that's what he meant, and we plow some of the state roads. So we've been doing that for the last probably 20 plus years in terms of which, you know, why should we, I mean, and, and by, as a result of doing that, as a result of us moving that over to the towns uh, in terms of snow plowing and even ditching in the summer and some mowing, and we've been able to reduce our de- uh, public works department in half. Those mm-hmm. are the kind of examples that I'm talking about. Right. So, I mean, when you look at whether the village has a court and a town has a court, I mean, why is that? Why not, why not have expense? just one court? Why not, why not have one? Yeah. And, and why not have regional courts? Why not have something that, that, that can save everybody money with on facilities and all of that? So I think it's, it's really a matter of, uh, of, of looking at, uh, at options. But, but to say that there are no options out there, I think, yeah. right. is, not, is, not, is not fair. Uh, Dave? Well, yeah, yep. Another thing, I'm, I want to just say something about the town and the village courts. Um, sometimes you can't get people to do jobs like that. We've had applications in... Perfect point for consolidation, then. Yeah, but who, who, nobody steps forward for the job. I mean, it, it isn't like we've got a 1,000 people to draw from to fill these jobs. You've got rules that a, the village um, judge has to live in the village. A town judge has to live in the town. Well, 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 I mean, well my point to that is, then do you need them both? You can still do their, their courts throughout this state in which villages don't have village courts and towns don't have either they have regional courts or they have town courtrooms solely for that so that goes back to the argument that's it's a great point i think you're, you're making an argument there 
about why consolidation yeah, can I'm, happen I'm because you don't have enough yeah, people yeah. to do these jobs, and you could look at ways to consolidate them. Hey, uh, uh, Mayor, would you uh, contact the county executive later today because he, he said he would uh, certainly take your phone call if you reach out to him? Well, I'd, I'd rather uh, sit down and, and sometime and talk face-to-face. Uh, Anytime. Um, I'm not much for over the phone and okay. unless you call somebody and meet them someplace or like that because uh, – what, what you're trying to get across the road is just lost in... Are you open uh, to meeting sitting I'll down with the mayor? I'll go out to Boonville. Anytime. He said he'll come to you, to Mayor. I, I, okay. I travel, yeah. to, I travel <laughs> all, the, all around the county. All right. You guys can meet at the Halbert House, which is... Uh, oh, is it? Closed. That's closed. Oh, well, that's a good bad, place bad to meet. Place. That is a, place to meet. <laughs> a lot of history. A lot of <laughs> history in that place. Yes, there is. A yeah. lot of history. All right. Okay. Uh, Dave, uh, mayor, uh, Dave Leffingwell, Mayor of Boonville, thank you so much. And we'll, uh, so I hope that the, the, the two of you get together. Boonville sure, is, uh, that's it. There's that little square. Well, and, and, uh, and look, it is, yep. you know, there is, there is, this is a vast county that has, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that there's, there's a great divide. I mean, or not, I shouldn't say divide. There's great space between right. that's America uh, the, hub of, govern, the, the hub of government in terms of, you know, mm-hmm. you know, county government in the cities of Utica and Rome where, where most of our offices are, but. In terms of offices and dealing with other things, I, mean, I think he's, he's referring to years and years ago, there used to be town and village welfare officers. That doesn't exist anymore because the system has changed. Right. But we, we, we've reached out and done satellites in, in different uh, aspects of that. You know, the point there is, is, I mean, I think he made a great argument. You can't find people to do these things. Yeah. And you can't, you know, especially in, in, the, in the court system. That's a great example. Mm-hmm. That's one of the reasons Bridgewater, the village of Bridgewater, uh, after looking at what happened in Prospect, and that's mm-hmm. another point. Workers' comp cases, are, are they're, they're one case away from, from right, bankruptcy. Right. Yep. But Bridgewater looked at it and said, before we go there, and secondly, can't find anybody to run for these offices. Right, right. Why should we be dissolve. in village anymore? Yep. Let's, let's consolidate. Okay. Let's get out of it. We have this discussion. There have been a few instances of consolidation. What do you point to as the, you know the champions of, of the cause here where consolidation has actually worked, it's made the service better, and less expensive well i think the 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 example i just used uh, you know when it's it's more on the shared services but it is a consolidation when you know the uh, the arrangement we have with the towns in terms of public works and i'd like to expand that even more because i look at they have trucks out on the road they have to go over the county roads anyway it just makes sense for them to plow them and that has has reduced our workforce right in, in dpw in half there are other, I mean, why can't they do the same in the villages? There are village public work departments. They still got to drive through the village at some point for the most part. And and so those are the kind of things I think that can be done. And 911 was a consolidation. New Hartford, Utica, you know, expansive systems that cost them, Utica, a million dollars a year, cost New Hartford 750 a year. That they're, That's gone. So there are the big ones, and then yep, there's yep. the low-hanging fruit that you can you can pick away at. I think there are great examples of that. I guess it, it still goes back to the question, so what are you doing with the sales tax money? What is that going for? Especially you know, when you have your other taxing jurisdictions in your village or town that yep. is doing certain things. And if, if it's if, And there are bigger towns that have those needs, and that's my point. The larger governments mm-hmm. have struggles. Utica, Rome, clearly, the county. New Hartford, Whitestown, and Kirkland. Speaking of uh, New Hartford, so uh, of that, talking sure. about becoming a city, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. uh, you would then be required to give them. Uh, well, the interesting, yeah, I mean, I'm glad. I and mean, the interesting argument there is everybody's looking at me about uh, just trying to redistribute a formula in a fair way. If by chance, which I don't think would happen, and I don't think they've really thought it out to the extent of all the things they need and New or would have to do mm-hmm. if they became a city. But if 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 the bazaar became reality. It would, in essence, bankrupt villages and some towns and be devastating to the county. If, and why? Because they because did. a city is eligible, and as I said, they are the only other eligible entity. Right. And they would be entitled to half of the collection within their borders. That's what Utica gets now. So Utica New Hartford gets, would be half of the collection in their in their, and that, within the border of New Hartford. And the which, Utica, by the way, that's the like, economic. Let me give you an example. Yep. Utica, Utica, the city of Utica collects totally, probably in the area of twenty um, six to twenty eight million a year, mm-hmm. in which that gets divided. Half comes to the county, half, half goes, goes to the city. Utica. So the same would apply if, if New Hartford became a village. Or became a city, excuse yep. me. If New Harbor became a city, what do they that generate? would apply. What, what's it's, it? See, we don't know that because the way the, the sales tax big, is not though. broken out that way. 
But just looking at the corridor, and I've said this, yeah. I've recognized the 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 retail hub of, of the county in terms yeah. of New Hartford. So take a take a. I think uh, Pat was uh, quoted the supervisor in the paper as saying it's worth about twenty million to him. They get about five and a half million now. Right. So take that fifteen million off the top. So no I mean, think okay. of it, think if that ever happened, what you wouldn't what be would able happen? to give to the villages. Nobody would get it. Right. Right. Okay. Understood. Um, more to talk about. Uh, no this is very, uh, very interesting. They're going through it in uh, in Herkimer County. They've got yeah, the same I, issue. Several and, counties have gone through yeah, this over yeah. the last few years. Okay, uh, changing times, yeah. yet we still have a structure that's uh, that's been uh, built a long, long time ago. Yep. County Executive Anthony Pizzetti, thanks so much. Great to be here.